So I'm working on the Z again today, and I actually think I'm going to be doing some aesthetic modifications to it. All right, here's what I got. Rivets, rivet gun, cheap sheet metal, cheap uh, 90 degree metal angle bit pieces, a uh, Dremel, and some tape. Oh, and also you want a drill with some drill bits, which I gotta go, drill bits are in the trunk here, so I gotta get those. And I'm pretty much just going to uh, cut up my fenders, even though I just got brand new ones. This is the one that got really messed up when I was drifting and the uh, rear bumper came around and smashed it. Well, I practiced some cutting with it, and the cutting wheel was just too big. It was just too thick for this. It cut well, and I think I followed the line all right, but it's also, it's all bent up and messy and terrible. So this one, this one was my practice run. It's, it's gonna sit over here and show me how not to do it. I've seen a couple people that I've talked to on 350Z forms and whatnot that have actually done this to their fenders. Turned out all right, but they actually had a welder when they were doing this. So I'm actually going to be trying to do this without a welder and using rivets and uh, basically making miniature brackets to make this all work. So for those of us that don't have uh, welding equipment and can't tack weld along everything, I'm just gonna rivet it on there and then either bondo it or, um, or just leave it because it might look cool. I don't know, but either way, um, this needs to right here. I'm skeptical, but um, like my blocking the dash thing, it didn't look so great at first. But then when I was finished, it looked great. So hopefully that happens with this too. So these are five thirty seconds. That is what that bit is now on here, so I can drill through all of these different pieces and materials and whatnot and uh, get the proper sizing right. Open wheel modified, anyone? Some sort of protective glasses, hearing protection. These are like a hundred bucks a piece, so uh, I hope this turns out good. Tell this is a much better cut. Just how close this whole thing is compared to that. Look at that. And that. So make sure you're using a very thin blade. I mean, I don't know why that wouldn't have been a given, but you can make these pieces and bolt them on or rivet them on, I guess. Now I got the holes drilled for here. And let's see what did I want it. Oh 
first bracket, bolts it on ready to go. So I got it back on the car. Now I've got the bottom piece about the size that I want it. And now I've got to get the top side. And that's really gonna set the angle as far as how it uh, sits. If I want to sit flush or if I want to sit it a little bit further in and show a little bit more tire. Here it is. This is just it sitting in its natural form. Got all the rivets in. They're a little off my first time doing this. So um, if you have a little bit more experience in doing this, it could be better. Um, we're gonna have a couple rivets showing up here too but that's not the point. Uh, the real point is how much of this tire am I going to see? I'm thinking right about there. So now I've got to take the other piece of metal and slide it in there, get this set exactly how I want, and then cut a piece out. First template fits well. brackets and stick it together. Okay, now I got both built. And it's time to go ahead and bondo. I can just get those. So I started uh, sanding this one down. I got some uh, bubbles, I guess, essentially holes in the bondo plaster stuff that I bought. It's a metal specific bondo. And um, I'm just gonna be able to fill those back over once I'm done sanding all this down. This is the one I've started, just finished this one, put a whole bunch extra on there, but it's okay. Just a little bit more sanding now I have to do. good yes um, could they look better yes but that's uh, it's not the point of this car it's kind of a drift missile slash daily driver and take it to a shop and show them a picture of these and I'm sure they could do it but they're gonna charge you a ton of money to do it and they're basically gonna do the same thing as this comparing these to a shop made product is like I don't know uh, can an escort give you a better blowjob than your girlfriend? Probably, but um, you gotta pay for an escort and this was free, so. So I spent about a week on the fenders and I found there's quite a few flaws with them. Pretty much gonna redo them. Cause they didn't turn out so great. None of the Bondo lasted, cause it just didn't do very well. Some of these rivets got hit with sander, so they're kind of messed up now, and I'm gonna replace those. I ran out of rivets last time. When you look down at this, and there's just spots, and it's just, it's not very good as far as quality-wise. Look at this rubbing. Look at this rubbing. So there's the line, the fender line. This fender line right here came down all the way, and you can, it's still here. So I'm gonna, I'm just actually gonna cut this out. So I've got the original pieces off and uh, now I have the old brackets off too. And instead, I'm going to be using single little brackets that I made and drilled holes through and attaching them with lots of rivets. And these ones will be hidden because I'm dropping this down just enough and it's going to hold it just below so then I can do a full layer of Bondo along here and get that super smooth, have it all sit together, and hopefully um, 
look better than the ones did before. So, got it all riveted back together now and um, sanded down. It's just kind of where it's supposed to be and I'm gonna actually apply the Bondo while it's sitting on here so that um, it can kind of set how it's going to sit on the car. And then once it's um, actually on here and set properly, I'll pull this off and I'll do a full sanding. All right, got that all on there. Both fenders are set now. This is still drying. Filled that in better and filled the underside. Looking at this, you can't see any of that underside, but um, the bottom here is the main part that we're gonna have to try and get really smooth. So that's all set and then obviously you can still see that, so I'm filling that in. And then over here, I've just barely started to do the sanding down here. I'm gonna get all the sanding done and get it as smooth as possible and then tomorrow I'll start fresh again. Day two, it's a uh, good thing I waited because there was a lot of things that I missed in this. So check it out. These are finally smooth, all the Bondo in there. And then I was able to fill some of this area here and take care of it. And then also up under here. Again, I'm not so worried about this, it's filled. What I'm mainly worried about is this, which is super smooth and these right here. This is super smooth. This is pretty good. I have a crack going along here. I filled it a couple times. It's just, there's too much flex in this and the way I've built it, unfortunately, for it to really be fixed. So I'm gonna live with that and uh, get them on the car. Um, first I gotta wash these off though and then I have gotta prep them for paint. Good old spray paint, trying to make this look good. Let's see how this goes. DIYs, it's not perfect, but they look much better. Shit. recommend doing what I did new um, do I recommend the mod obviously it looks sick it works well with the body lines of the Z and it makes it look a lot more aggressive up in the front region which honestly it needs for such a rounded car um, just weld it um, I really was trying to do the unique style of not having to use a welder and um, it kind of ended up biting me in the ass because I had to completely redo the whole bracket system second time around. Uh, it just would have been easier if I had bit the bullet and had it welded. Um, again, nothing nothing wrong with that, but it's cool. Let me know what you think of how I did it without any welding. A lot, a lot, a lot of people don't know how to weld. 
or maybe they just don't even have access to that kind of stuff and they just want to do it on the DIY. So with rivets and brackets, you can do it. It does look good. It takes quite a bit of work, lots of hours of just sanding, grinding, cutting, making sure things are right. Turned out well. First time doing body work. Hopefully not the last. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.